Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about the array representation of the binary tree. If they are given a binary tree, how can you represent these binary trees in a array? And the short formulas that you can use to get the values. So let's discuss. So first, there will be of two cases. The first case, if you start indexing from zero. and the second case will be if you start the indexing from 1 so if you start indexing from 0 case 1 if indexing starts with 0 indexing start from 0 so then what will be the case in next case let's discuss about what will be the case if the indexing starts from 1 so we are representing the binary tree values in an array while representing we must go level by level so this is level 0 this is level 1 level 2 and level 3 so we must go level by level after level 0 only we must go to level 1 after level 1 we should go to level 2 like this we must go so in level also first we should cover the left side and then we should come to the right side level by level left to right so what is the short trick level by level in left to right level by level left to right so this is the trick first at level 0 only one element is there we will be writing a next at level 1 two elements are there what we should write first level by level left to right which is the left one b next c next level 2 first left you write d from left you should come to right side d e f g next next level h and i h and i so in the first case as i said the indexing starts with 0 if you start indexing with 0 what will be the case 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so why are i am telling about indexing means while formulating the formulas that is the short formula that you can use to detect the elements in the array for that formula uh, two cases will be there that is starting with 0 and starting with the 1 formula will change so if you start with indexing starting from 0 how to find the left child how to find the left child of any node for example if you take b its left child is d so in tree you are getting but when it is in the array representation you can't get easily know what is the b's left child node how to find the formula is 2 star i plus 1 what is i i is the level i is the level so i need to find the child of b child of b i need to find the child of b that is left child let's take an example what is the level of b level of b is 1 so apply here 2 into 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 which will be equal to 3 c index 3 Zero, one, two, three. What is the value in the index three? D. D is the left child of B. This like only. Now, how to find the right child? How to find right child? So to find the right child, formula is two star i plus two. So see, two star i plus one is for left child. Two star i plus two is for the right child. So I want if I want to see the right child of B. So B is in the level one. Therefore, two star one plus two. So two star one means two ones are two plus two will be four. So you see the fourth index. So fourth index is E, and the right child of B is also E. So satisfied. Now the third condition is if you want to find the parent. now if you want to find the parent of the child 
parent of the child that will be i minus 1 divided by 2. So if I want to find the parent of d, if I want to find the parent of d, what is the level of d? Level is 2. So I can write 2 minus 1 divided by 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 2. Now what is the value 1 by 2? 1 by 2 can be written as 0 0.5. We will take the upper limit of 0 0.5. So what will be the upper limit of 0 0.5? That is 1. So if you see 1, the first index is B. So B is the parent of B. Like that you can see. So I told two cases. That is if you start with the indexing as 0 or if you start with indexing as 1. So if you start indexing as 1, so 1 bit will be reduced. Therefore what will be the left child value? 2 star i. That much only. Plus 1 will be not there. So, for the right child, 2 star i plus 2 is here. For, if you start with indexing 1, it will be 2 star i plus 1. For this one, i divided by 2. So, if you, they ask in exam, you just write like this only. Uh, means, start with indexing as 0. Now, let us look at the another problem. Let us look at the another problem. So, you will get the concept right. So, if I consider A, B, C. So, this is my tree. Now, I must represent this tree that is the binary tree in the array representation. How I must write means first I must satisfy the first I must satisfy the childs. So, I will put year 1, 0. So, here. So, I will put year 1 not next year. Left side 1 not and year nodes. So, now I balance it. That is, I made this as a complete binary tree. In complete binary tree, there must be 0 childs at the leaf node or 2 childs. Like that I made. Now, what I will do? Level by level. So, level 0. First, I will write A. Next, I will come to level 1. When I come to level 1, I must start with left and come towards the right. Left is blank. So, I will write dash. Next, B. Next level, level 2, blank, this is also blank, this is also blank and C. So, if there is no values, you must leave a blank in the array and write where there is the value. So, hope you understood the array representation of the binary tree. If you like the video, please subscribe for more engineering related topics. Please support us. Thank you.